Alexa. Are you here to spy on me? Sorry, I'm not sure. One of them say Mrs. Tishy, you know this is for the children So you can't make it too scary, okay? You can't make it too scary what the sirens look like. There's no physical description in Homer at all until you hit some point in the medieval period where suddenly you start getting many more illustrations of sirens as half woman, half fish. When we think about how it is to live a life that's dominated by the ocean and by voyaging and by the physical apprehension of just how alien the ocean is, we want to put some flesh on that to tell a story about that, to tell a story about our fear and our longing. And to do that, we create something that's part ocean and part us. And that's the mermaid. Mermaids date back to the Assyrian cultures of 1000 BC, but are common to folklore around the world. They are usually depicted as young and beautiful. However, much like the sea itself, mermaids can help or hinder. British folklore, the creatures brought bad luck and were said to taunt sailors in doomed ships. Slavic mermaids were also dangerous. They were called Rizalkas and were the spirits of the unhappy dead. Beautiful and damned, they lured young men into the waters to drown beside them.